Hey there, it's Anthony Robart, and I'm here today to talk to you about taxes. The tax deadline for this year is fast approaching, and there are some important financial implications to consider. First of all, the deadline is May 1, 2023, and despite CRA workers currently on strike, the date has not been affected. So if you find yourself here on Monday, April 29th, you still have time to get your taxes in. Now, as I mentioned, there are financial implications for filing late. Individuals who do not get their taxes in by the deadline will be charged a late filing penalty. This penalty is 5% of whatever you owe for that particular year, plus an additional 1% for every month you're late afterwards. Any amount that you owe the government begins to accrue interest on the first day after the deadline. But the government understands that not everyone can pay the amount they owe right away, and they allow you to request they waive or cancel the fees and penalties surrounding late filing. If you are in a beneficial situation and the government owes you money, while it might be more convenient to wait a bit before filing, Failing to do so can affect your eligibility for certain benefits in the future and result in criminal charges. Additionally, by not filing, you might not be eligible to receive certain benefits such as the GST credit that can have a big financial impact, especially since it's being doubled for qualifying Canadians this year for the 2021 tax year. With all this in mind, it's important to always file your taxes by the stated deadline. And if you need help, think about working with a financial advisor or tax specialist to ensure you get the most out of your taxes. Thanks for watching and have a great day.